Hey guys, right, getting to the final stages of Dan's bike now. So I'm just gonna continue sort of doing all the little small parts here and there. It's, it's not too exciting, but it's jobs that obviously gotta be done. So it's getting ridiculously hot in here already and it's only nine o'clock in the morning. <laughs> so I'm already struggling. Uh, I decided last night I was doing editing, so instead of coming in here, that's what I've done. So I'm gonna bear the heat as long as possible and get on with what I can. All right, just getting the, the rear brake arm on first. Then we'll go for the rod and the brake lever get it somewhere about right then obviously do the the final adjustments when the bike's running and going along so I can tweak any adjustments if need be right uh, ah, I remember making that brass thing let's find that <laughs> remember we made this the brake arm Dan actually plays a guitar, so it resembles one of them adjusters on the guitar. There's obviously a name for them, but I don't know it. lever all right just put a smear of grease on there we've got a uh, new nipple on there anyway Obviously, there's another adjuster that goes on with the foot peg. So we can adjust the height of the lever as well. <sighs> it's cooking. Right, I've got the foot rest on. Uh, just got to set up the back uh, brake light switch now. Find the stuff for that. And then I'll do final adjustments on it. Obviously when I can ride the bike, you know, to where the pedal's comfortable and stuff like that. But I'm just gonna try and plod on as much as I can while I'm slowly cooking alive. I've even got a wet t-shirt on. Not that I'm gonna win that competition. Never know with man boobs. Who knows, who knows these days. <laughs> Anyway, uh, right, not for that and set up brake light switch. Let's get on with it. Right, now the brake light switch. That should be about right in that hole. You've got several holes here that you can put them in to get uh, the switch working at its best. go so I'll do that bolt up so far so that can still move back it off a bit probably could have done with a longer bolt actually Yeah, it's 
pulling it. Again, I'll have to wait till it's all wired up to make sure it's working correctly. There we go. Right, moving on. This is the following day. It's still sort of early in the morning and it's a lot cooler, which is fantastic. So I've got one more little job I'm gonna do to call it on this video. Then I've gotta have a bit of a clean up, throw all the old packaging away for things as I've been putting the parts on the bike and basically get ready for the last couple of bits and then the wiring. So this last job, I'm gonna make use of one of the original eyelets on these forks and sort of make it into a bracket for the horn. So yeah, I didn't chop any of the old brackets off these forks, just well, as this one, it's coming handy for something else. Anyway, let's sort it out. So we've got this bracket here. I think it perhaps would have been something to do with the brakes, probably a cable or a actual rod running down there. I'm not 100% sure, but that's what I think it could be. Anyway, I've made some little brass bits, as you can see that, and a bracket. I've not gone fancy with it, it doesn't need to be, as we're trying to keep this bike sort of old fashioned looking, so I'm making everything quite simple, especially the little brackets. Anyway, so this will drop into there, like so. And we've got a brass bolt that will go up. This is where I need a couple more hands on the job. And then, I don't think it matters which way that goes round. That will go like so. A bit of brass there to sandwich it in. God, <laughs> come on, get the nut on quick before I drop everything. Right, let's grab the horn. Hey, as a lot of these old bikes, the horns were mounted at the side at the front, so I thought I'd. Uh, go down that route. Get my fat fingers in there. I've got a camera in my face in the way. decide exactly how I want it or I'm gonna have wires going from the bottom just to come in neatly or whatever I'll decide on that there we go I think that looks all right there actually why does that horn look so big in this camera <laughs> looks massive I'll give up. I'll give up with this camera. <laughs> I'm sure you've all used to it by now. How odd it makes some things look. Never mind. Right. Yeah, I think that's simple enough. And uh, what I might do next is actually make something for the speedo cable that comes off one of the original mud guard mounts. Yeah, I might just do that before I finish and clean up. Let me have a think about that. 
Right, I've got a little setup sorted out for this and to hold the cable. Uh, it's only really basic, but again, it's just something else. It'll serve a purpose and it should look all right. So all, all this will basically do, is the cable will run behind the horn, is basically stop this cable rubbing here and eventually going through the powder coating. So I've made this little brass spacer. I've threaded it. I've tapped this out. I'll actually drop a bit of thread lock on that. for that one. I'll say it's, it's nothing too fancy, it's just enough to make it look alright actually. And that'll keep us with a bit of a gap there. cable's absolutely fine in that position, it's not kinked or anything like that. Oh, there we go. Actually, I might trim that. Not as you can see that. Oh, this is got these big corners on. I think I might get a bit of black marker now and trim them off and just I'll actually drop a bit of wax on it so it can't go rusty. I think it'll look better without them corners. That should be better. Oh might have to put the cable in there first, wouldn't it? <laughs> there we go. That's better. That'll do. That's holding it all off everything now. That's better. It's a bit of an S shape going on, which looks okay, I think. No kinks in it, and it's uh, holding it there so it's not flapping about everywhere. Well, I'll drop the horn back on now, I think. All right, that's the uh, horn back on. Just that one clamp there is holding it off everything nicely. It's not rubbing against anything, which is nice. Yeah, that's going nowhere. Had a few people mention about the playing cards, about, I think what they're trying to say, I should have three down here. This was taken off a photo of Dan's granddad who had this painted on his bike jacket. So all we've done is do exactly the same as what was on his bike jacket as we, as we didn't want to change it. So, you know, if it's not 
as cards should be that's the reason it's exactly as it was on Dan's granddad's jacket yeah very pleased how it's coming together so there we go uh, not a lot to do now got to get the levers on and some switches and stuff like that uh, side stand obviously got to get the tank sorted I'll try and get that across to Ian in the next few days and then wiring and then the big fingers crossed for getting all the fluids in and starting it up so yeah the next few videos on this we really will be just doing sort of the last dregs of the jobs really so it's not going to be too exciting but same as the wiring a few people have said they'd like to see some of the wiring so i will show parts of that wiring i'm normally doing the evenings phone off door shut and just get on with it because obviously you don't want to make any mistakes on that because uh you don't wish to stand back and watch uh, your bike go up in flames <laughs> so yeah i like to sort of shut the world off for wiring but i will show bits of it and share look how i get it through the frame and stuff like that anyway that'll do for this video and obviously i'll be back when we're going through the remainder of the smaller jobs anyway cheers for watching guys take care